Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I'm actually super excited for today's video, not only because I have new equipment, I have a new camera that I'm gonna be using from now on. Not only that, but we're gonna be checking out a really awesome historic spot that has some little abandoned spots there. This was actually a World War I airfield that was turned into basically a cityscape. Um, yeah, it's like a modern day urban little city, but of course they left some things there. Um, so we're gonna go check that stuff out today, see what, um, see what we can find. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, super historic areas that they've kept preserved. So uh, without me rambling on anymore, let's go ahead and get right into the video guys. All right guys, so right behind me is actually the last remaining World War I hangar. Um, huge piece of history here at the Brooks City Base, as what it's called now. Um, it used to be known as the Brooks Air Force Base. Um, it's really cool, it's called Hangar Number no. 9. I don't know if you can see it up there, the number 9. Um, I'm gonna show you all around here a little bit. A little bit of history of the Brooks Air Force Base. It started as an airfield in 1917. Um, and then, you know, as time went on, it grew into a full force Air Force Base. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all some of these plaques here in a minute. But as you can see behind me, this is the hangar, super neat. Um, there's definitely, like I said, some abandoned spots around here that I'm gonna show y'all, some forgotten um, areas of this base. Um, also an airstrip. So yeah, this is gonna be an exciting one, guys. All right, I'm gonna show y'all around. Okay, we got Kevin finally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the camera's always on now. <laughs> Let's just see. No. Figured. Oh, dude, what? Uh, <laughs> Time Warner did something here. Oh my God. What the? Mm, I want to go in, but I don't want to go in. I'm going to. Yeah, we just popped this open. This definitely looks bunker style. We're not going to go in there, obviously, because that looks horrifying. Yeah, definitely horrifying. Plugging in patch panels. Whoa. And. Uh, you know, switching the phones like that. I don't think yeah, taking like manual here, phone. Yeah. But then they switched to like, you know, systems that did it automatically and they were vacuum tubes and all that. So they got hot. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, Wild. That out. We just got desks in here. Bro. And the heater. Just Here's problem. some, I guess, evidence, if you will, of, you know, the yeah. base, the past base. Right. Yep. All right. We're just going to trust that. That one has the same type of stuff in it. This, we'll go ahead and oh. we'll leave here. Yeah, I'll put back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sorry. Just Sorry, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> we put back. We put back. We no take. This had to be like dog training or something. Yeah. Yeah, this is dog training. It's like... Look at they... these beds. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. The oh, yeah. The troughs, basically. They just rinse it out. Yeah. Dog poop goes to never, ever land. Yeah, there's also a, uh, I forgot to mention, there's a canine training uh, facility right around the corner here. Yeah, look, there's like, yeah. There's wash tubs and everything. Mm -hmm. So this is probably like the old portion of it. And they probably first started doing this stuff, the canine training. <gasps> no way. Okay, this is the beauty of this, guys. My dear friend Kevin here. All you got to do is try and open a door, and if you're in, you're in. Sometimes life provides. Life will provide. Okay, I can see. It's not that bright, but it's bright enough. 
So definitely offices. Oh. Oh, they used to be cheddar crackers. Though. Bro, moldy oh, cheddar sticky. crackers. <laughs> oh, those are bees, dude. Oh, dead bees. Where's the beehive? Right there, there's one right there. No, that's... Oh, man. Dude, an exterminator probably came in here or something, because... Dude, that's, these are all bees. This dead is... bees. That's exactly what all this stuff is on the floor, is dead bees. Oh, my God, this was a beehive. Bro, and then you got the... Then we just walked in here. Straight up office over here. Okay, so... Interesting. <laughs> here we go. Are they good? No, they're, they're not super time. good. Wow. Be careful on the second floor. Mold. Know that there's leaks on the oh, outside. Oh, yeah. Old TV. Dude, that's like 90s. P. Yeah. Brack. Communication education training. Ha, ah, this is a, uh, okay. This does still have to do with the base. So they used this all the way up to what? 2010? Um, 11? No, it would have been like Nine. early 2000s. It started getting sold to private. True. Some raccoon poop or vomit. The yuck. Oh God, yeah. Could be well, vomit. There's a wall. Peek, peek. All right, guys. Yeah, not much to see there. It's like almost like that house we saw in Somerset. Here, rack-mounted server, laptop server. Laptop client. What were they doing? They were doing a uh, network stuff or? I don't know, but this was definitely. Dude, that's a gas mask. Yeah, I'm gonna at least wear a cloth mask. Yeah, I got my mask too. Let's see if it opens, dude. It opens, it opens, it opens. What? Bro, this is. This is some soft shit. Yeah, this is like nightmare inducing. What the hell? Salt and pepper shit. Yeah, let's put our lights on real quick. It's just a piece of wood. Oh, there's a little breaker panel. Breaker, yeah. Empty though. Oh, that's weird that they would have had that mask there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what they used to do in here in order for them to put that there. I don't know, but after 20 years, I feel like a face mask might have been a viable option. Yeah, true. Because we're straight up talking radioactive fallout in here. Weird, crazy, what? Guys, so we've got that bunker in front of us. We're gonna try to get to that open door right there. I don't know if y'all can see it right in front of me. But, um. The important flashing red light on top. Oh, man. Dude, I wanna get in here so bad. We just have to get past this gate. Obviously, there's um, barbed wire. Not Hopefully, it's not an electric, <laughs> electrified gate. But um, we're gonna try and get in here one way or another. And if we don't, at least we were able to see it. But let's try and get in, guys. All right, guys, here's another. Look, there's an open caution. No open flame or ignition source within 50 feet. Huh. I don't think we could crawl through that, but yeah, that's gonna be. More chemical storage. Chemical storage. Of course I all right, guys, so this would have been probably the new hangar. It looks pretty locked up, so yeah, it's yeah, super it's locked up. I figured it was going to be. They gave some thought to this one. Yeah. As you guys can see here, it's huge, giant. Someone got this gate open. I don't know if they got the door open. All right, guys, I think we just got into this place. Oh, shit, we just got in. <laughs> Terrorist warning. Threat con Charlie. Well, let me just open it. Yeah. Oh shit. Let me get some light up in here. Yeah. Alright, this is open. Bro, I can't believe we actually made it in here. 
Oh man. Oh, this is spooky. I'm Bro. Gonna this one. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we. Oh, it's probably an active fence. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we just finished. Um, that's actually going to conclude today's video. After all, um, I know earlier I had said there was nothing else to see, but and we came across this massive, um, massive hanger. hanger. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put all this together, get the video up, and we're going to be coming back for sure to do a part two. So stay tuned, guys.